Well, I hope you all enjoyed your rest day wherever you are in the world because we are good to go again and good to go in style. As you can see from the beautiful landscape here, we're in the heartland of Tuscany for stage 11 from Perugia to Montalcino. Look, it's the, the shark of Messina on the front. Vincenzo Nibli setting a pace as well. This is great to see the champion working for his young teammate. This is wonderful. The Tafosi will be loving this, won't they? Grande, grande Vincenzo. There's been a crash there. Oh, oh that's there, Bahane. Bahane. He's Ooh. gone down, down in the ditch. Look that's that's on that teammate, by the way. Gannett is pushing here. He's really, really on the edge. That's another illustration of the spare bite. Little pit there. Big, big gaps are oh, for Ganna. Ganna, Ganna, Ganna holds it up. Unclips. And a little scare then from the almighty Filippo Ganna. Ghana's gone! Ghana's gone. The dust is just occluding the view of Renko Ignepool, who is all on his own now. Ciccone losing contact now. Clear now. And Ben oh. oh, going over the top of Alexander Vlasov. Can he respond the Russian? No. Nope. Look at him. Here he goes, Amalianoza. He's going to shoot across that gap. He might well get on the wheel of Emmanuel Buchmann before the top of the climb. Where's the German? He's left the rest behind. Patient, patient, Egan Bernal. Now they head for the last 200 meters. And Kobe now. Kobe alongside Schmidt. Schmidt, the time trialist. Kobe, theoretically, with the faster finish, but look how steep it is. Towards the line, Schmidt pulling clear of Kobe. Kobe beaten, Mauro Schmidt wins. What a champion, Egan Bernal, and what a way to consolidate his lead in the pink jersey. Bravo, Bernal! A masterpiece from Ineos, and a masterpiece from the Colombian.